All right, I'm back with another video for y'all. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to download any app you want on your Galaxy Watch 4. And I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So when I take it to my apps, right, as you can see, I got Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, or uh, Snapchat, uh, YouTube Studios, Instagram, and they all work too. Let me show you. I'll show you Snapchat. Look at that fully, fully functioning Snapchat. All right. I mean, this, this is where, you know, you can have this stuff on here with, if you need it in a pinch, fully functioning uh, Facebook. It's going to take time to load because it's on the watch, but we're not going to wait for that. But you see it's working now. All right. So let me show you how to do that right now. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings on your watch, right? Scroll all the way to the bottom. Go to about watch. And you want to go to software and then you want to go to a software version and you want to click on that a bunch of times until, you know, you see developer mode turned on. And then when you go back out, this needs to stay in focus. And when you go back out and you see a new option called developer options and you click on that. And when you go in there, you want to scroll down a little bit until you see uh, ADB debugging. You want to click that on. Click on ADB debugging. Confirm. And then you want to click on debug over Wi-Fi. When you do that, uh, just give it a second and an IP address will pop up. And when that IP address pops up, excuse me. You know, you want to uh, write that IP address down and memorize it, you know, whatever works for you. And then you want to take it over to your phone and go into an app called Easy Fire Tools. All right. And once you get in there, you want to go into the hamburger menu at the top left corner. And you want to go down to your settings. And once you're in your settings, you want to look for IP address. Click on IP address and enter that IP address that you've seen uh, pop up on your watch when you turned on Wi-Fi, uh, debug over Wi-Fi. All right, so you enter that in, click OK, and then you go back out, and it should connect. If it's not connected, then you want to go ahead and hit this connect button right here. Oh. And there we go. Now you get a message on your watch asking if you want to allow. And I'm going to put always allow for this computer. All right. And now you're done on your watch. All right. So you hit continue. And now it says connected. All right. And you see the little green uh, plug right there. All right. So now you want to take it over to Chrome. I already got it loaded up. You want to go to an app called Up To Down. Once you got that fired up, you hit the search bar. And you can look for any app you want. So let's look for uh, Reddit. As a matter of fact, let's look for Twitter. Why not? Hit download. All right, once it's done, you want to go into uh, back into Easy Fire Tools and you want to take it over to Side Load. And okay, we're already in Side Load. Take it over to Custom ABK File. There you go. Select File. And usually, what you download should pop up right here somewhere in Recent Files. No, we'll cancel that. But if it's not, if it don't pop up, then, you know, you got to search for it. So we'll go into my files and download it. And there you go. There's the Twitter. And you can see all the other recent ones that I downloaded on there, too. All right. So we'll hit Twitter. Boom. It transfers over right there. 
press install, press yes. We got confirmation that it's rolling and now you're just gonna let it do its thing. And in a minute, you'll be able to tweet from your watch. All right, operation successful. So now we're gonna give it a second and then we should see Twitter at the bottom of the app draw now. Boom, and there you go. Now you got Twitter on your Galaxy Watch 4. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. 